right, well, I changed the points out and uh, went through the wiring. It's still kind of makeshift right now. Um, but kind of reconfirmed all the wiring and now I'm, fingers crossed, I'm trying to start. Uh, I don't have, this will just be a temporary thing because I don't have anything hooked up yet on the gas tank. It's a new gas tank. And uh, I need to change the carb anyway because this is a 600. And I've got a uh, 500 metal brock in the house, I think a 1306 or a 2, something like that. Whatever was recommended. And uh, yeah, so a new gas tank was put in by the previous owner, and I haven't had a chance to plumb it up yet. So let's. Uh, Give it a whirl. I got fire extinguisher in my garage, by the way. All right, here we go. take that as a win today <laughs> yeah it's alive uh, as you can tell it's uh, running straight headers right now <laughs> um, all right so it does run got to get some uh, some gas plumbed up to it and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, ballast resistor back in I did check straight from that wire and I don't think it's cutting down to nine volts like it's supposed to. So probably put the ballast resistor back in. When I tested it with the ballast resistor the other day, it is ch uh, cutting it down to nine volts. But I went, in, went ahead and tried it just in case that uh, somebody had mentioned that maybe those wires were already resistive wires um, from the factory. So anyway, dang, I'm so happy right now because uh, I have not been able to hear this thing run since I got it. Obviously, I got a lot of cleanup to do, as you can tell. It's very dirty, but uh, goodness, I'm just so ecstatic right now. So, as I was saying, um, I need to go ahead and get the uh, ballast resistor wired back in. Uh, the wire alone was not dropping it to nine volts. Um, the uh, so it's staying 12 volts when I crank it to uh, the coil. Uh, gosh, I'm just so happy right now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, now I gotta get that thing plumbed up and get the carb changed and maybe cancel the mechanic I had hired to uh, come over. Actually, I probably have him come over and just do some some tweaking while I'm not here. I'm, I've been really uh, just absolutely swamped with my schedule here lately, and so I haven't been able to do a whole lot at all. And uh, anyway, I got a, uh, a few minutes today I was able to come home for something else and I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna put a new set of points on there and try it out and uh, put the points on, tried to crank, wasn't getting anything. Um, so I, I'm i still gonna have to probably go in and set the dwell. Why well, I'm going to have to go in and set the dwell um, because I've not done that, but I've got a dwell meter uh, ordered and or I might buy one locally. I found a guy that's got one locally, one of the old school analogs. Might get that one. Um, it's just a, about an hour from here, so trying to decide what I want to drive there, just wait for one to get delivered. Um, so anyway, the uh, yeah, so I got that. Got to set the dwell and get that timed right. And then, uh, uh, but anyway, after I, I got, after I got the new points in, uh, pulled plug and just confirmed I got spark. And I got spark and I was like, okay, I got a little bit of spark. It wasn't strong, although I will say so. I'm hoping that's just a, a matter of the dwell needing to be set better. Um, but uh, but it was enough, obviously, to light it off and uh, get the thing running, so I'm really happy. Um, yeah, so now I just gotta get some gas plumbed to that thing, and uh, I, am gonna, I, I am gonna keep my mechanic guy I've hired to come by, do some light work for me on it. I'm gonna have him uh, get the uh, clutch slave solenoid installed and uh, get that part all bled out and kind of go through some things and tweak for me and uh yeah because my schedule has just been absolutely nuts but i do want to try and get to whatever that event is in arkansas this year um 
for the V8 uh, MGs. And, uh, oh, all right, progress. Today is a good day. I might just go buy a lottery ticket. All right. Okay. We're going, yeah.